to thank the both of you for taking our time again to come see me and that is because the two of you want this wonderful union that you have to work. And my prayer is that the good Lord continues to bless your holy intentions. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. You have been so wonderful and useful to our union. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You are welcome. I want you both to know that the principles that govern marriage patience, tolerance, trustworthiness, loyalty, very important and of course counseling which is why you're here yeah. I tell people all the time it's not just when you're all excited about getting married to your spouse uh, your prospective partner that you come in for counseling and then forget all about it uh, when you get no it continues even after your wedding for you need to understand in totality the basic ethics and principles that govern marriage. Am I communicating? Yes. I also want you to know that uh, the both of you must uh, learn very early in marriage to be free with yourselves. And as for you, the husband, you, you have to be very truthful to her, very transparent to her, uh, not just him, same goes for you too, my sister. Uh, a lot of marriages have failed today because people have taken counseling for granted. They have not invested a lot of time counseling. It takes a lot of work. Both of you, two separate entities, trying very hard to come together. Two different people, separate orientation, but because you have found love, we'll continue to pray that the love of God that supersedes all things continues to keep you together. Amen. Amen. But only counseling can teach you that and that is why you find that a lot of marriages today have ended because of the lack of patience, the lack of tolerance, the lack of understanding. But I pray very hard that that will not be your portion. Amen. Uh, Sister Mildred. Yes, Pastor. I hope you know that the home belongs to the woman. I know, Pastor. Yeah, so you have to take charge of your home. So I will need you to take charge of your home. Yeah? Yes, Pastor. You have to take charge. You don't wait for the devil to do that before you begin to pray. No, you take charge of your home. Am I communicating? Yes, Pastor. Give your hands. Heavenly Father, I thank you for those ones. I ask that you continue to bless their whole intentions for you alone can keep them together. Mm. My prayer is that at the end of the day we glorify your name. Father, the intentions of their hearts are evident every day as they want to continue to... Is your problem? Why must you touch me like that? The more I try to convince myself that you and your colleagues are genuine, the more it dawns on me that you all are what I think. 
And what nonsense are you talking about? What do you think of us? Do people have different motives for coming to church? Are you here to build us or to bring us down? You know what? I have an appointment with the pastor. And he should be done with his visitors by now. I don't think I have time for a troublemaker like this. Excuse me. I trust my pastor will see through you. Evil generation. Come in, please. Good afternoon, Pastor. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm fine, Pastor. Please sit. I should. Please sit. Okay, Pastor. I have called you here because I have specific questions that would require specific answers from you. Okay. Before you joined this ministry, who was your pastor? I never told anyone I had a pastor. Yes, I was attending a fellowship, but I was never close to the pastor. I see. And so how did you hear of our ministry? Joined and became a part of the choir. How did that happen? Our mommy, that's your wife. She ministered to us and we experienced the kind of anointing that we've never experienced before. Oh God. That is where we came. And so far, we've been happy in this ministry. Glory to God. Glory to God. I, I want to leave you with a few words of encouragement. Something that will help you grow your faith. Okay. Susan, I want you to know there is no miracle bigger than the miracle of salvation. And when you experience that kind of miracle, hold it and not lose it. A lot of people have lost theirs, but I do not want to see the members of my church will lose theirs. Okay, Pastor. Hold it. <laughs> okay, Pastor. I heard what you said and I promise not to let you down. Remain blessed. Thank you, Pastor. Tell me that we now have new sets of choir members in the church. Well, that's because you are too busy to be bothered about little things like that. You expect me to disturb you. Disturb you about choir members? No. I can handle it. That's why I'm your wife. That's why you're my blessing. I'm always thankful to God. For bringing you my way. You are the most understanding and patient woman that I know. You are the best decision that I have made in my life. Okay. 
You see that beautiful decision that I made 18 years ago to be with you has given birth to the life that I'm enjoying today. You see, when I see women in church place you as their role model, my heart is full of joy. My prayer is that the Lord continues to strengthen you. Amen. You're a good woman. Thank you. And I thank God for you. You have your way with words. And you're perfect. You are also the best decision I've ever made in my life. You built me up to perfection. You taught me everything that I know. I thank God. I thank God for giving me such a, a God-fearing man filled with love and humanity. The dream of every woman. You see now that you have the words too. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I was going to say that I noticed that you... You take alcohol now. Why? Well, it's not a sin, is it? According to the gospel, as written by the apostles, and as preached by them, you can have a little bit of alcohol. Besides, it was for a purpose. And you're not going to tell me what that purpose is now, are you? Really, honey? You want us to begin to discuss the purpose of alcohol right now? You're tired and you're hungry. So hurry up. Take a shower and I'll fix you dinner. Okay? I'll be right back. It's fine. know why I called you out here. We are here for choir practice. And why are we here holding this unnecessary meeting instead of practicing inside? This meeting is not unnecessary. We are here for practice. And others are doing that, but you are distracting them. And how are we distracting the choir practice? By suggesting we should learn dancing as part of our practice. It's not even a decent, godly dance steps. It's the type you have in the club, in some nightclubs. Why does it appear like you're still living in a stone age? Excuse me. Dancing makes God happy. Yes. And there is nothing wrong in dancing in the church. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't go with this. Then leave. We are here to pack up your dull pile. You should be happy about that and not this unnecessary argument. My house shall be called a house of prayer, not a den of thieves and robbers. I don't warn you again. <laughs> what was that? Laughing, my dear. Let's continue. Continue. Hello, I am Hello, welcome. What is this? Oh. There is only one way to handle this. Tell mommy about it. I am sure they will listen to her. I readily see the manifestations of demonic spirits in those girls. Harabahosh karabaha. But listen, by God, we will uproot them from this church because they are not born again in any way. I thought as much. But I am still wondering how they were able to convince mommy to bring them into the choir. I am assuming we are done with today's practice. 
And that is why you both left the practice to come here and discuss. We have not come to an end. We are just trying to find a solution to the problem you created with your group. <laughs> problem we created? And what do you mean by that? I just came to complain to you. And what complaint is that? It is about the new girls that joined us. They are not serious. I mean, they are making things more difficult for us. And what's that supposed to mean? They play too much, trying to turn the choir into a music group. They are not concerned about the solemnity of the song. They are just concerned about what will incense the people. And that is not the training we received. Hmm. Deborah, we need to learn to tolerate people. Train them. And they will come around. That is what bringing people into the kingdom of God means. We do not throw people away. That is not the kind of church that we are. We are hoping for more people to come. Okay? Let's just continue to tolerate them and train them, okay? But I will speak to them. Okay, ma. Can you please call Brother Timothy for me if he's still around? All right, ma. All right. Thank you so much. Over Silos Debra. Can't you mind your business? if this plan is really working. You know, girl, I say this without mincing any words. Mm -hmm. These men are completely useless. Huh. I tell you that. You see those ones that act holier than thou attitude in church? Those ones, they are the worst sinners. Tell me about it. Oh. These men that will not donate a cobot to the church are the same men giving these girls money. And can you even believe that one of the men is planning to travel with one of the girls to the U.S.? <laughs> I am not surprised. I don't want my husband to fall prey on. It will destroy the ministry. Nah. They wouldn't do that. Your husband would prefer to go outside. All men cheat. It's in their DNA. It's in their nature. But what is our business? Ours is to make money from their stupidity. Could this be the reason you stopped attending church programs? Um, there are still some real men of God. But they are not in these so-called ministry churches. Those ones are business centers now. Now that we are on the same level, I'll teach you how to make money. Talking about that, I want to cut ties with Chief. Why? Because the man won't let me breathe. He's all over me and I feel like he will ruin my marriage. I don't want that to happen. Uh -uh. That man is too smart. That man is in love. Girl! You needed to hear what he was telling me. That you are so sweet that you torn his hair. Now you are going to capitalize on that. Milk him dry, like milk him dry. In money long. That guy has got money. His money is linked with the national security. And baby girl, that is where the money is. Hello? Yes, hello? Yes, I can talk now. Is it fair keeping the lady waiting? I'm here already. And the man is nowhere to be found. 
Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I was held back by my wife. Uh, but not to worry. Uh, feel free. Order anything you want to eat. I'll join you shortly. Uh, yes, eat and drink. I will, I will join you shortly. You see, I got that letter from the orphanage. And um, they were asking me for donations. And uh, you know the country we live in. I decided to call you to uh, ascertain the authenticity of that letter. Eh? Yes. Seems your wife has walked up to you. Deal with that and call me back later. <sighs> Thank you very much. Now that I have the confirmation that I seek, I will get back to you with the specifics. Eh? Okay, what is it? Hello, this is Mrs. Okere. Who is this person that is asking for a donation for my husband? Hello, this is Dorothy from Trinity of Anitore. Is there a problem, ma? Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry about that. Hello? Hello? Just listen. Are you happy now? Huh? I am trying so hard to understand when all this started. Yeah. Why did you snatch the phone from my ear? I am also trying so hard to understand when you started coming out here to answer your calls. What are you hiding for your wife? Nika, I'm not going to allow you ruin my mood with this nonsense. I'll talk about this when I get back. And where do you think you're going to? To get my khakis, of course. I'm going out. Or do you have any issue with that? Good afternoon, Mrs. Ukeri. Good afternoon, my dear. But I'm not happy. Hmm. What's the problem? I cannot explain. But I have this strong feeling that my husband is falling off the fate. And why would you say that? My husband is behaving strangely lately. He no longer picks his cause before me. I have this feeling that he's seen another woman. And that thought alone is killing me slowly. Hmm. You need to reinvent yourself, Mrs. Okere, before you destroy your home. Yes, you need to pray fervently for your marriage. Ask God to heal whatever it is that you're going through. You know God is always faithful and ready to help his own people. Okay, thank you so much. I needed someone to tell me this. It is okay, Mrs. Okere. That is why I am your pastor, to help you when you're deviating. Don't worry, I will call you when I get home and we can pray together. I will give you Bible verses and I'll tell you what to do. You know, the Lord is faithful. Yes, so the Lord is faithful. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Okay. Bye-bye, Mrs. Okere. Thank you so much. I appreciate. Hey, what was that? Thank you. Wow. Oh. Oh. Mimi, hi. You're a very smart girl. <laughs> mm. Honestly, I, 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 I did not know you were going to cast that drifting. Come on, Tim. Give me some credits. 
Immediately you drifted from our main discussion. Uh. Ah, I just figured out your wife must have bumped into you. Hmm. And I knew she would do that thing she did. I had to hold on to clear the road for you. You know now. Hey. You finished work. <laughs> Honestly, you finished work. I'm sure she would never in this life doubt me again. Hmm. Bad man. <laughs> Please, enough of your wife and all those jargons. Hey. I want us to talk about us. Okay. So bring it on. What do you want us to talk about? Chief. What? Chief darling. Be more. <laughs> you promised to take me to the US. I don't have a visa. Ah. That one? Yes. There are many countries. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are, there are many small countries in the Caribbean where one can actually visit without a visa. Tell me about it. L let me tell you something. I have concluded plans to take you out of this country where nothing works. Aww. But I want to take you to a destination where I will have you all to myself all day long without disturbance. Oh, it is sounds so romantic. <laughs> you know what? Anytime you need my passport mm -hmm. and my information, just tell me. Boom, I'll send it. Yes, yes. <laughs> I heard your conversation on the phone. As in not boiled down to all I was saying. How do you mean? Let he that thinks he's standing be very careful because he can easily fall. Are you driving? You complain that father seems to be falling off the faith. And haven't you noticed that his behavior lately is suspicious? He's not behaving like a man having a stromata affair. And you've not figured out that it has something to do with your compromised church? Which church did you just call compromised? The same church you insisted I should not change. Have you not seen the choir? The new members, do they look like believers? Do they? So now, believers are known by their looks. Clarion, please, I don't want to raise this topic. My God, why is she not seeing what is very open? This is very clear. Why is she not seeing it? And why would you draw that conclusion? I have not concluded, sir. But, sir, I feel you should stop that woman from visiting here. And possibly talk to Madame to stop going to her place. Gerard, there must be a reason you're saying this. I have told you to feel free to speak to me. If you feel anything that's going wrong around here, that is why I have you here as my housekeeper. Yes, sir, you said that. Uh, sir, So I, I don't know what else to say, but I believe if you pay more attention, you understand what is going on. Hmm. It's okay. I will take it from here. You can go back to your post. Thank you. Provided her with everything she needs in that house. 
Why should she keep disturbing me? What nonsense is this? What kind of meeting would drag into this lady? And he knows I'll be very worried. Hmm? He's not picking his calls. So, why won't she allow me a moment of comfort and joy like this one? I am with the woman that gives me joy and happiness. So, she should allow me to enjoy myself. Or oh, didn't you hear that song? <laughs> allow me to enjoy myself. Allow me to enjoy myself. And that's what I'm doing exactly. Come on, have a seat. Wait, 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 wait. What? Is this a way of trying to tell me that you're going to spend the night nice with me here? Uh, not really, because that will amount to looking for trouble. Hmm. I will go to my house, but not until I am thoroughly through with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know well, I wouldn't want to come between you and your wife. Huh. <laughs> but if a beautiful woman like you decides to, <laughs> so be it. I have no regret whatsoever. <laughs> Yeah. Take a sip, take a sip, take a sip. Come on, Tim, wait. No, let's, let's forget about this joke for me. Uh, that won't make sense, so seriously. Oh. What would you say in church? Which church? Pastor Daskanga oh. will be very, very disappointed with you. Seriously. Oh, oh. Let me tell you something. Pastor Daskanga mm -hmm. cannot risk losing me. Chief, chief. Yes. <laughs> Looking at the amount of money I do out of that church uh -huh. every month, in fact, he cannot think of anything that would make me angry. Eh? This is why I trust you. <laughs> Come, let me give you one for the road. One for the road? Yeah, baby. Chief, chief. Chief, I am. Come to baby. Mm. Come to mama, come to mama, come to mama. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Have I done anything wrong? Sandra. Even as hard as you try to pretend and cover it up, it is very clear that you have been taking alcohol all day. What is the meaning of this now? Hey? Why do you always think the worst of me? You should be the one to tell me why you have changed. Sandra, if a shepherd like you can get involved in this level of Sin. Our worldliness. What do you think the sheep would do? With all due respect, you're beginning to judge me and I do not like it. How have I judged you? Are you trying to say that it is right to take alcohol the way you do? Well, what goes into a child of God does not defile him or her. It is what comes out that defiles the believer. The Bible is very clear and explicit on that. And by your close relationship with this woman that I have told you to stop mingling with, can you look me in the eye with a word of faith and tell me that nothing defiling has been coming out of you since you got yourself involved in that unholy and ungodly fraternity. Ungodly fraternity? What does that even mean? By disobeying the word of God. Getting unequally yoked with an unbeliever. By exposing yourself to the manipulation of Lucifer, the man of sin, by disobeying your husband, continuing a relationship with a woman that 
that he has clearly told you to stay away from Sandra. You are losing your place as the mother of the church. I need you to think about this. I don't know why you keep bringing wild interpretations into everything. Aren't you the cause? Aren't you the cause? Last night. Is that the the welcome hug you are supposed to give to your husband that you have not seen since last night? By the way, what do you learn from that church you attend every day? Don't even pay touch into this matter because you know exactly what I'm talking about. Your phone was not connecting. It got me worried. Well, actually, my phone went off. Uh, sorry, I did not inform you. The meeting lasted long into the night and uh, we have to stay back. In fact, everybody stayed back. Why do you even have to bring up this attitude as if you don't know the situation of the security in the country? Eh? What have I done to this man? I used to give it to him anyhow he wants. Why is he doing this to me? Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, Mirabel. Why are you late? And what happened? You sounded worried over the phone. Is everything is everything okay? Please, Ma. For how long are we expected to continue doing this? I don't know why you are looking at me this way. I just asked the question and I need an answer. Uh, Mirabel, honestly, I don't understand why you're asking this question because you all are doing very well. The men are visiting the church now more than ever. Why would you think of quitting? You see, I feel so terrible when I sit in the church and the coordinator will ask the members to start praying against the evil people that have come to destroy the church. Look at this stupid girl. How is that your business? Oh, are you an evil person? Hey, we are now. We are here for business. Do you hear me, Mom? Business. Fair so why are you thinking of quitting? It, it appears no one understands me. Yes, we do. But the truth is, I am scared. Enough of this nonsense, Mirabel. Why are you giving way to fear where there is none? This is why you don't get real men with real money. Yes. Look at Susan here. She leaves on Friday for Barbados. Traveling with another woman's husband? Has it ever occurred to us that the woman might be praying down the Holy Ghost fire upon the head of a person trying to destroy her husband? And in your stupidity, you think that that fire fire thing works? Come on, girl, grow up. Okay, you know what, ladies? I need to end this meeting right now, but I need to talk to Mirabel, so excuse me. Okay, girl. Hi, Mirabel. I'm surprised that his killer has not been found up till now. I don't think he was murdered by one person. Because Vincent is a very strong man. No one man can over 
overpower him like that. What I think is that he was murdered by a group of people. I just don't know why the police are wasting so much time. I don't know what else you want them to do. I feel they are doing their best. Unmasking a case without any weakness is always a Herculean tax. So what is the need of forensic science? I believe those people who got rid of Vincent may have touched his car and other places. He's let the police start from there. What are they doing? Did you mention this to them? I just don't want any officer to hate me. Label me that I want to teach him how to do his job. I just believe they should know all this. In my husband. You need to stop crying. You don't need tears right now. What you need is prayer. It is not easy for me. I don't know what came over him. He suddenly turned to age it. He cares less about anything in the house anymore. I thank God the children I grown up and in school. How would I have explained to them if they come back asking questions? How? It is well. You see, when the devil wants to use you, he must prove to him that you are a child of God. This is just the devil being the devil. But don't worry, we will overcome. You bring your husband so we can have a counseling session. And by God's grace, everything will be fine. Do not let this weigh you down, okay? Okay, Master. Thank you. It is well. Stop crying. Huh? Thank you. Good. Please. Please, you have to follow me for counseling. Because I can see that the devil is using it to destroy our home. It is you that the devil is using, not me. I am very comfortable with my marriage. Yes, I have no issues. Rather, it is you who is cooking up issues where there's none. Let me ask you, what is it that you lack in this house? And why did you suddenly become afraid with me traveling overseas? Why? If you're traveling overseas, I'm traveling with you. Says who? Eh? You're traveling with me because I am the only married man on earth. Every man that is coming to that international conference is coming alone. So why should I be the only man that will come with his wife hung on his neck? For your information, your traveling passport is with me. And I'm not going to release it to you until you tell me what is going on. Wait. Gineka. You mean you have the audacity to seize my travel document? And if you provoke me the more, I'm going to burn it. We are married. I will not allow you to humiliate me. If I must release it to you, you must follow me for counseling. Simple. Mr. Okiri. Oh, my pastor. Um, I want to personally plead with you to please forgive and forget whatever it is that she has done to you, please forgive. Ultimately, love rules and we should not allow a third party into our marriage. Thank you very much, pastor. Thank you very much. I appreciate your involvement in this matter that has to do with my family. It goes to show that you are a very good pastor and may God continue to bless you. Amen. You see, my wife has not always been like this. And I don't... that is why you should know that there is something you are doing now which you weren't doing before. And that thing is our problem. If you can stop it, then we don't have a problem. Are you seeing it? This is where the problem lies. In fact, this is where the problem is coming out from exactly. Looking for issues, I mean, cooking up issues where there's none. Gineka, Gineka, can you please put an end to this? We don't have any problem, you are just cooking it up. 
and you know it. Emma. We don't have any problems. We don't have any. Yeah, at all. I believe you heard that. And I believe that too. No problems. And the good Lord will heal this marriage. Amen. Amen. You see, marriage needs patience and tolerance. Yes. And that patience and tolerance is what will make us overlook our partner's weaknesses. Exactly. No exactly. One is perfect. But Mr. Okay was perfect before now. He is every woman's dream. He was everything a woman would need in her husband. If that be the case, what are we doing here? Why are we here? We are here because you changed from who you used to be. Mama? Yes! My very self. You changed from who you used to be. And I want you to go back to that old you. If you can go back to the old you, then we don't have a problem. The more you claim not to know what I'm talking about, the more it makes me sick. Ah, 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 please. No one will be sick. And the Lord will heal this marriage. Amen. But there's something I want both of you to do for me. Okay. If you can do it for me. I want us to quench this fire right here and right now. Because I am aware the children are returning for holidays soon. Very soon, very, very soon. Hmm. The last thing we want is for both of you to wear long faces against each other when they're around. We must. Okay, deny it. Deny it that is not one of the women that are calling you. No, deny it. Pastor, did you hear that? This is exactly the bone of contention here. Eh? For Christ, uh, for Christ out loud, I'm a businessman. And I have my business tentacle spread all over, the, all over the land and beyond. Anybody can call me anywhere, anytime, any day. My invoice is in the hands of one million and one persons. So what should, this, what, what should she even conclude that it's a woman that is calling me? Eh? Let us pray. It's okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, I bring before you Mr. and Mrs. Okirish. This one, this man is not taking his calls. <laughs> I hope he's still coming here today. I have listened to both of you. But what I have to say is, we all make mistakes sometimes. I do not see this as a mistake. This is a deliberate action. Extremely unbecoming of a Christian father. Mr. Ben, your wife is accusing you of infidelity. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> She is just picking on me on any little thing. All I ask is for my own space. Is it too much to ask? But Mr. Ben, there is no space in marriage. You two have become one. You just need to carry her along in everything that you do. I am not actually asking him to carry me along. Because I am not wired for any form of worldly lifestyle. 
All I'm asking is for him to leave those women alone. There are no women anywhere. I don't know how else to say this for you to understand. You have allowed him to make you a liar. See that? God! Ben! Why are you doing this? Mrs. Ben, it's okay. It's okay. It's alright. You know what? Prayer answered all things. There is nothing prayers cannot do. Yes, once we are steadfast in our prayers, the Lord will always answer us. Uh, let us pray. Lean forward. Give me your hands. In Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, I restore peace into this family. Kanga. What happened? I've been calling your number and you weren't picking your call. Well, that was because I was counseling people with marital problems. Do you expect me to pick my calls while doing that? And besides, I told you I'll come before I go home. So don't, don't worry, don't worry. I'm just missing my woman, okay? <laughs> Point of correction, Chief Okundu. I am not your woman. Your woman is in Canada and she lives with your kids. And I can bet you she has a man in Canada there who she's going down with. And that doesn't bother you? Why should I be bothered? Come on! It's only a foolish man who will be living in Nigeria here and will still be expecting his wife who lives in Canada, in the United States or in Europe to still remain faithful to him. I believe maybe there are few men who are doing that. To remain faithful with their husbands when they are not living with him. But a sensible man should not call out his wife who decided to help herself. <laughs> You are completely impossible. You are an impossible character. Don't worry. Can we please go up? Because I know very soon you will tell me I want to leave. <laughs> chief, Chief. Let me come after you. <laughs> so I can continue to admire this beautiful, beautiful Mrs. Daskaya. Come in. <laughs> Beautiful Mrs. Daskanga. You know, I am just wondering what you are going to do to me today. You talk as though you haven't been getting the best of me. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> you are beautifully prepared. I can see that. You know what? Can we please get busy before you will tell me that I want to leave? I know <laughs> how you normally do it. <laughs> Guess who has a PlayStation now? Oh, uh, uh, mommy, what did you ooh. get for me? The dress is on. Oh <laughs> my God! All right, see you soon. Hurry up! Thank you, Thank you so much, darling, for bringing them home. So how excited you are! <laughs> are you hungry? I'm fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna send you. Hurry up! 
I'm waiting. Be down in 10 minutes. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I'm so happy to be at home. Let me dish the food. Okay. I'm so happy. I'm so happy my kids are back. Thank you for bringing them home. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it's fine. I'm also happy that, um, you know, that Messi will be through very soon. So. Yes, talking about that, I know they're going back soon, but I'm not really happy with the way they're looking. I don't think they take good care of them in that school. Oh, no, don't I don't say think that. they fit well. It's, it's, uh, they fit well. I think it's normal with kids that live in the dormitory. You know, sometimes authorities get them to, to get involved in some rigorous activities. It, it, it's part of schooling. Uh, they'll be fine. Still, I don't like the way my kids are looking. They are feeding well, darling. So school life, school work, they'll be fine. And don't also forget that they have holidays from time to time, so they get a chance to come back home and refresh. You worry too much. If you say so. Uh, you told me something on the phone about a topic that you'd like for me to treat. Oh yes, I would like you to um, treat marital vows and its importance. You know, I have spoken to some women and everything they have said from the interactions I've had with them points towards infidelity. Hmm. Yes. <sighs> infidelity has become a big problem, you know. Yes. I pray that the Lord will grant me the anointing that I need to tackle that topic. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's, um, let's share a word of prayer. Thank you. He's coming with me. <laughs> As always. Bye, Daddy. Bye, yeah. Mommy. Careful now. Bye. Take care of your Daddy, okay? All right, Mommy. All right. Drive safe. Why is Mother Thanks. always following Mommy about? It's love. Just like you follow me about. I know what that means. It reminds me, Dad. I didn't like the way the choir sang yesterday at the church. It was not the same choir that we used to have. They were even dancing wild. Oh well, um, you might want to bring that up with your mother and um, see what she has to say about it. I will. And I will insist the choir goes back to the way it used to be. As a choir master of this church, you would agree with me that you know this girl more than anyone else in this church. What can you tell me about her? Daddy, I may be wrong with my conclusions, but from my observations while she was with us here, she never in any way showed any sign of a converted believer. Now why would you say that? 